Humanity's ambition to conquer the seas has resulted in some of the most extraordinary engineering achievements of our time. So today, we're diving into the remarkable world of artificial islands, massive land reclamation projects that have literally redrawn our planet's coastlines. In the 1960s, the Kansai region planned to build an entirely new airport offshore on a purpose-built artificial island in Osaka Bay. The primary challenge engineers faced was not the water depth of 18 metres, but issues with the underlying seabed. Beneath the surface lay a 20 metre thick layer of soft alluvial clay, followed by 140 metres of additional clay, sand and gravel layers. Only at depths exceeding 160 metres could stable rock material be found. To stabilise the foundation, engineers implemented an innovative sand drain technique, which involved drilling boreholes into the sand to expel water from the clay soil. Construction of the artificial island began in 1987 and represented a monumental undertaking. Three mountains were excavated to provide 21 million cubic metres of material. A total of 180 million cubic metres of fill was used to form the island and 10,000 workers using 80 ships took 10 million man-hours to complete the earth layer. Engineers originally estimated the island would sink 5 to 7 metres over 50 years, but by 1999 it had already subsided 8.2 metres, nearly 50% more than predicted. The terminal building incorporated one main feature to manage the subsidence. 900 adjustable steel pillars support the 1,700 metre structure. These pillars can be extended by inserting metal plates at their bases and maintenance teams continually recalibrate these pillars to keep the terminal level. Despite the challenges on the horizon, Kansai International Airport stands as a testament to human ingenuity in overcoming seemingly impossible circumstances. The creation of Ile Notre Dame stands as one of history's most remarkable feats of rapid, large-scale engineering. This mammoth island didn't exist naturally. It was purpose-built in Montreal's St. Lawrence River, specifically for the 1967 World Expo. What makes this achievement extraordinary is not just what was built, but how quickly it was accomplished. Engineers faced three formidable challenges that many deemed impossible. First, they needed to create stable land in the powerful currents of a major waterway. Second, the project required sourcing and transporting 50 million tonnes of fill material through Montreal's densely populated urban areas without disrupting city life. And finally, the timeline was extraordinarily compressed, with just 10 months from project initiation to opening day. To address the massive logistics challenge, the team established a remarkable daily operation across the Jacques Cartier Bridge. Trucks delivered fill material continuously, with only short periods in between reserved for essential bridge inspections. This precision scheduled operation maintained the city's transportation network while enabling the extraordinary volume of material transfer required. The true testament to Il Notre Dame's engineering excellence lies in its evolution over subsequent decades. The island seamlessly transformed to accommodate the 1976 Olympic rowing basin and later the circuit Gilles Villeneuve for the Canadian Grand Prix. This adaptability demonstrates remarkable engineering foresight, creating infrastructure capable of evolving across generations while maintaining structural integrity. Palm Jumeirah in Dubai is one of the most recognised archipelagos in the world. Aptly shaped like a date palm, it's known for its luxury hotels, lavish residential areas and entertainment. Construction commenced in June 2001 under the direction of Nikhil Properties, a government-owned developer. With such a big project at hand, engineering innovation was needed to pull off this impressive feat. The outer crescent-shaped breakwater, spanning 11 kilometres, was strategically developed first to protect the inner palm structure during construction. Instead of concrete slabs, the foundations of the palm were created from 7 million tonnes of rock and around 100 million cubic metres of sand. And to address any stabilisation issues, engineers employed vibro-compaction technology to compress the sand and prevent settlement. Engineers used a sophisticated dredging technique known as rainbowing, where sand was sprayed in a rainbow-like arch to create the landmass. 
This method was selected for its economic efficiency, as it meant there was no need for floating pipelines and equipment. To ensure precision in the island's complex shape, engineers also used GPS-guided technology capable of placing materials with incredible accuracy, in some cases within 0.39 inches of the desired location. By 2007, the first residents had moved into the development, ahead of a monorail system being developed and a further 25,000 residents on the way in the coming years. Palm Jumeirah transformed Dubai's international standing, proving the Emirates' capacity to execute monumental engineering projects and establishing it as a global tourism destination. The project demonstrated Dubai's commitment to ambitious development and served as a catalyst for other large-scale artificial island projects in the region. Each of these projects has pushed the boundaries of what was previously thought possible, establishing new benchmarks in land reclamation, environmental management and structural engineering. At NES Fircroft, our dedicated teams work across some of the biggest projects in the world. Head to nesfircroft.com to unlock the future of your professional journey and see where your engineering career will take you. For more engineering content and career advice, subscribe to our channel, like this video and follow us on LinkedIn at NES Fircroft. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.